Hello everyone! So this time, we are very excited to give you a little exposure on the contaminants of emerging concern. Generally, the contaminants of emerging concern, or CEC, is any synthetic or naturally occurring chemicals or microorganisms that are not regularly monitored but may have the tendency to enter environment and cause harmful effects to both environment and human health. These type of contaminants are considered emerging due to the rising level of concern related to them. They are most commonly found in the groundwater, surface water, municipal wastewater, river, as well as the sea. On the other hand, CEC is also commonly known as Emerging Contaminants, EC, or Emerging Pollutants, EP. Now, let's explore more on the classification of CEC. CEC is normally classified into seven common categories. The most common one is pharmaceutical and personal care products that mostly consist of the products used on our daily basis such as detergents and toiletries. Next is pesticides, which include herbicides, insecticides, or any other chemical substances normally used to get rid of pests. The third classification of CEC is PFA substances that can be mostly found in food packaging, paints, as well as in most cosmetics products. BFRs, on the other hand, are mixtures of man-made chemicals that are added to a wide variety of products to make them less flammable, which include textiles, electric, and electronic equipments. Next is ADCs, which are substances that interfere with the normal function of your body's endocrine system, which mostly found in plastics, industrial ingredients, and pharmaceutical agents. Besides, nanoparticles or microplastics are most commonly originate from a variety of sources, such as textile fibers, dust from vehicles, as well as larger plastic products that were broken down into tiny pieces. Lastly is algal toxins. This occurs when nutrients, mainly phosphorus, nitrogen, and carbon, from sources such as lawns and farmlands flow downriver to the sea. Next, let's learn more on the sources of CEC. Where do you think they are mostly found? So basically, CEC are commonly originate from agricultural activities, urban runoff, industrial effluent, ordinary household, as well as pharmaceutical products. For your information, the issues on CEC firstly emerged from the Romans two millennia ago due to a global lead contamination. And just in case you're interested to know more on this case, feel free to visit the details and link provided. Just so you know, the very first person who discovered microplastics as one of the emerging contaminants is a marine biologist, Professor Richard Charles Thompson, along with his team of researchers at Plymouth University in 2004. Professor Thompson's team showed that microplastic particles had accumulated since the 1960s and are present in the oceans worldwide. This case study had demonstrated that marine organisms could ingest and retain this material in which, upon ingestion, microplastics has the potential to release chemical contaminants. This research impacted on UK, European and American policy as well as contributed to a body of evidence which influenced companies to phase out microplastics from their products. Shown are some of the impacts in the policy due to the case study. So that's all we have in this part 1 video. Hopefully you enjoy and gain something from it. Make sure to stay tuned for part 2 to learn more on CEC. In the meantime, if you find this video helpful for you, help us to raise awareness by pressing like, comment and share. 